Randy Wymore is not a medical doctor, but he is a scientist at Oklahoma State University. He started out as a skeptic, too, but years ago, after taking a closer look at the fibers, he changed his mind. And he says other doctors might also, if only they would look. And the few that have seen patients often have never actually gotten down with either a handheld microscope or a dermatoscope and looked at the patient's skin to see these fibers. On the day we filmed this, Wymore's colleague, Dr. Rhonda Casey, examined that chronic sore on Drew's lip, which, after five years, still had not healed. Clear mistake, definitely a fiber. There are fibers there, and I have never seen fibers in any other child's rash similar to this. Okay, come on in here, young ladies. Anne Dill and her children also came to Oklahoma for an examination. They're all relieved to be among doctors who believe them. To be doubted, it's, it's very hard. To have the disease and on top of it, yes. have no one believe you. Real. Yeah. Anne shows Dr. Casey a tiny pimple on her daughter Sarah's thigh that after three months has not gone away. It's just a big wad of fibers bursting yeah. forth. Having lost so many close friends because they're scared to come over. And I don't blame them being scared to come over because it's hard for me to go to school and not know if I'm contagious or not. And when we come back, the search for answers. Jim McFadden's look at the strange and controversial condition known as Morgellons. Its sufferers complain of stinging and crawling sensations under the skin and say their bodies sometimes grow strange string-like fibers on the surface. Most doctors and scientists believe these symptoms are imagined, a form of delusion. But there are others who believe the physical impact is painfully real. The doctors in Oklahoma believe Morgellons may trigger permanent neurological damage and may be spread by close contact. The slow decline of Andil's husband, Tom, a powerfully built athlete, could be a case in point. He was diagnosed with ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease, but Ann says her husband had none of the lung problems typical of ALS sufferers. He still had complete lung function, no oxygen, small and fine. No, I don't think he died from ALS. Although Ann says she requested an autopsy, none was done. Tom's medical records were reviewed by Dr. Casey. Many of the symptoms were similar to ALS, but I believe it was the neuro neurologic decline of Morgellons disease. Dr. Casey believes this rash is the real clue to Tom's death, though the doctors treating him never paid much attention to it. Red, bright red, yeah, under his arms and on his, his hands and his whole head itched and behind his ears. Today, Anne worries that what happened to Tom is happening to her. As you sit here right now, how do you feel? My skin hurts, muscles hurt, to walk hurts. Some of them have um, physical neurologic findings you can see, such as foot drop, palsy, um, but every one of them have different degrees of neurologic decline. One of these neurologic symptoms is brain fog, an inability to remember how to do simple tasks. I would agree with your assessment that he's definitely not a human hair. Dr. Wymore and his team are convinced that the fibers were at the center of the Morgellons mystery. Whether bacterial, viral, parasites, insects, fungal, none of those really explain how those fibers and, and the, the specks are forming. And so it's very difficult to wrap one's mind around this because there is no example of anything that's quite like this. But do these fibers grow from inside the body, as Morgellons patients believe, or do they come from the external environment, a kind of lint, as many doctors say? Whatever the cause, there is something strange about the fibers. Forensic scientist Ron Pogue at the Tulsa Police Crime Lab checked a Morgellons sample against the 100,000 known fibers in the FBI's national database. No match at all. So this is some strange stuff. Not cotton, not linen, not any known natural or synthetic fiber. This is not, this is not a, a, a commercial fiber. It's not. Does that make you wonder whether in fact this might be a medical mystery? I don't know what that means, to be honest. Um, it 
certainly a unique fiber. It is a little mysterious, though. Of course it is. Uh, it's, it's a big jump from finding a fiber and producing a disease. You certainly would agree that there's a lot of suffering going on. Absolutely. No question about it. Your heart goes out to people like this. Whole families who say they're suffering without knowing the cause or the cure, and until now have had little reason for hope. And we just lost our dad so unexpectedly, and we're, we're scared we're going to lose our mom, too. Their mother has been praying that medical help will come in time. You okay? Look at pictures of us four years ago, and I don't even know who they are anymore. And my kids have to see not only their dad, but their mom disintegrating. And, and that's got to be really scary, too. Today's announcement is an important first step towards uncovering the haunting mystery of Morgellons. Uh, thanks to Cynthia McFadden for that report. And when we come back...